So, hello guys and welcome to the first lesson of particles. So, in the particle lessons we will go over some setups, some different setups. First of all, we will go over the setups, how to build them, them up and how to influence them. And after that we will go in uh, maybe two or three lessons over rendering. So let's get started with the first setup here. A fresh new Houdini scene. So I will save this quick. Courses, this will be particles. So this will be particles course. So let's get started. First of all, let's place down a geometry. Let's call this particles. Let's dive inside and for particles we need a pop network. So let's create one. So nothing happens because there are several several ways um, how we can set up a pop network. And for the first little uh, particle setup, I want to do a little growth with uh, a split method. That's pretty easy, but pretty common in many setups. And let's dive inside the pop network. So, this is our pop source. We don't need this, let's delete it. We need a pop location, because uh, I want to start the particles from one point. So, here are the particles. Let's play it, let's play it and we can see we've got our particles. Nice. But it's way too many and it looks not that special. And I want one point. So, one point or one particle, let's go here under this tab, under the impulse activation. Let's type in dollar $FF for floating frame equals equals 1. So we will only emit particles at a first frame. Constant activation, let's go to 0, so this is disabled, 0, 2. And let's go under the impulse count 1. So we will get here one little particle. It's right here. So let's make this a little bit bigger that you can see that better. Geometry, particle size. So we got one particle traveling outwards here. So let's get the variance here down to zero, 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 and the velocity, let's get it to two. So two in the up direction. That's pretty good for now. And now we want to split the particles. How we will do this? It's pretty simple. Let's get a pop group. Pop group. And let's call this group GRP for group and then split. Let's call it here split also, split. And now we will use a little bit of code, it's not that much. So in group equals one, so every point now will get into this group, but I don't want it. We want that every maybe 24 frames or 48 and so on a particle will get into this group and then we will process this particle further. So let's go add frame, so the current frame number, divided by let's say 24 equals equals 0. So with this function we will get every 24 frame the particle will get into the split group and now we need a pop replicate. So we want to replicate this particle from this group. 
So let's get into the reference stream here. I think, yes, okay. Into the reference stream group, enable it. Let's get the split group, split, something like that. Let's get, oh yeah, we need to, to get a stream here. I think we, let's get main, this is the mainstream and we want the reference stream, stream, that's the mainstream. And let's feed that back into it. And it works. So, now you can see, let's play it, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> so that's, that's uh, pretty awful, but let's introduce some wind, so let's call this uh, get the pop replicate, or let's call this split particle. Split particle, good. So this is the output, and here we can use forces and so on. So let's go on the pop solver and let's get some wind introduced here. Let's get an amplitude here. Let's dive up here. And yeah, that's let's get the wind here. Okay, let's get here back to free. And now let's get a trail here. Trail. Let's get connect a smash, close rows. Let's uh, go away from the close rows and trail length. That's the frame, that's the timeline number, so 240 for example. Oh, wait, blah. that was too much. I used uh, the wrong option here. It's not connect as match, it's, it's uh, connect as polygon. My fault. Oh, rows, yeah, rows. Connect as polygons. Now we will get it. Okay. That looks pretty okay, but I want to get more of this and more of this and let's don't use the trail sub let's get another method with the solver so the solver will did something on the previous frame and we want to merge the previous frame the previous frame here with the input one let's merge them together and then we will get something like this here So let's get every something like that. Let's get the wind a little bit faster and the amplitude a little bit higher here. Yeah, that's much better. Now let's get subsets to two. And here also subsets to two, so we will cache more points. Let's go to the end and we will get something like this. Let's go back in here. It's it's many, uh, it's like getting the right, the right values here. Yeah, that's, that's better, but I want that the swirl scale is a little bit bigger, so let's get like 5. Yeah, it's much, much better. So now we, we will get provided with an ID attribute and yet let's use that by group, by attribute, ID. And now we got our lines here. So that's the first pretty simple growth here. 
And now, of course, you can use uh, Fuse Sub to get this uh, these connected here. But I will do it like let's get more sub steps, and with you can easily do it with with the trail too. But sometimes I use the solo method because you've got a little bit more a little bit more c uh, c controlling. Let's evaluate within frame range, 240 frames. Yeah, I like the solo method more because it's way faster. Let's get five sub. Whoops, five. Let's get here free and three sub steps. Reset. Let's cook it. Okay. Yeah. Now it's a little bit closer, and now you can play with the wind and stuff like that. So that's the first quick method for particles. So guys, before we go into the next lesson, here is just a quick reminder. So, in the PopNet, um, go under the Pop Replicate and get here the shape, get this to a point. This will, this will make that you will get here nice branches out of it with with a really little distance from the main route and that's way better in my opinion. So just get here to shape, get it to the point and yeah play around with the values and I will see you in the next lesson with another setup.